Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we will see how to complete this extra key three uh, for this stash two. So in this, uh, we need to use uh, the uh, data that has been provided to us. This sheet is there. If you click on it, it will take you to this page. So basically, there are six data set that has been presented to us. So in this, we can use any of the data set. Each of the data set contains this one thousand rows. So here, what uh, these are this current ratio, quick ratios, cash ratio, these things are related to bond markets. So here in this data set, what we need to do is first uh, this create a Google sheet as a spread. Here we have to take any of the three uh, this numerical variables. For those three numerical variables, we need to uh, plot a scatter plot for each of them, like X1 and X2, you need a scatter plot. For X2 and X3, you need a scatter, a scatter plot. And for x1 and x3, you need to create an x uh, this a scatter plot, and then you just have to give some small uh, like uh, a summary on based on the understanding and observation that you make from that scatter plot. For the, the second part, you will have to create calculate the covariance for each of the pair. So what this pair uh, means is x1, x2, you need to calculate the covariance for these two. Again, for x2 and x3, similarly for x1 and x3. So you will have to uh, just calculate the covariance. You will have to use the Google sheet only. From there only you will just put the formula and it will give you the uh, value of the covariance. And based on based on the result of the covariance, you will have to just write down some few two, three lines on uh, what observations can you make out of the covariance that came. So that uh, you will have to use the find the mean and the standard deviation of uh, each of the this numerical variable this x1 x2 and x3 for these three you will have to find the mean and the standard deviation you can find this using the google sheet only in that only simply just put the formula it will give you the value of this mean but it, uh, there is no way to find this uh, standard deviation directly so for this you will have to find the variance first and then you will have to take the square root of the variance to find the standard deviation once you have uh, calculated the mean and the standard deviation for this for your numerical variables you can just jump to this Chebyshev inequality there basically you have to find the uh, upper bound and the lower bound which is basically a formula so let me show you this is my blog here like i like explained a little bit on how you can do this activity so these are the few numerical variables so apart from so in this only uh, you can select any of the three i have for my activity i have selected this current ratio uh, p e ratio and this earning yield so these three uh, numerical variables i have selected you can select any of them uh, from them and then you can complete it so uh, this covariance this is the formula that you will have to use in the google sheet so it will give you a result this is the chebyshev part okay so if you want to display this you know, Thing this Chebyshev. So this is my activity. I've explained already these things. The scatter plot. You need to create these three scatter plots. This covariance and write a small uh, description about the observations that you see. This mean and standard deviations. Okay. So this for this Chebyshev, you cannot just directly display these things in uh, like this over here. For this, you will have to embed some. HTML code. So I provided the HTML code over here. You can simply copy the code from here and you can just place it over there in the embed section. So where you can find this embed section is here you will see there is an embed option over here. So here you will click on this embed code and you can just simply the paste the HTML code from here and then you can click on next and basically it will look like this. Now okay, it will look like this and okay so this is done for this uh, peer review thing this is the like i've just explained things on how we can just make sure to give a full marks if possible suppose if someone has written few descriptions or if there is literally no explanation for the uh, things like uh, these type of things explanation then in that case you will have to like give lower marks when I say marks, it means that this you will have to select this sufficient condition and this 
exemplary conditions. When you select these things, basically you're assigning points to uh, them for their activity. Okay. So if uh, try to give exemplary in most of the conditions, if if do you find any activity that like uh, does not satisfy at the end, like you don't have any other options, then give su uh, this sufficient uh, or else if most of the time, even the teachers also suggest that activity is meeting the conditions. So try to give uh, maximum marks only. OK, so so basically you can read these things and be based on this. You can just do your peer reviews also. So this is very simple. So this is it for this extra activity. Not very much. You just have to copy the data from one place and you just have to complete this activity. We all already have done this activity in our stats one. We created the I think a histogram over there and based on that histogram we made some observations and everything. So this is basically for uh, this uh, numerical uh, variables. They are basically things were for categor uh, categorical variables. So this is it, a very small activity. Okay. So make sure to complete it. There are five marks for this activity. Uh, five, uh, actually, this extra activity contains 10 marks. Five marks we already got in uh, stats one and the remaining five marks we, we will get in this stats two. Not compulsory to complete it, but uh, still five marks is a lot of marks. It will definitely affect your CGP if you miss it. So make sure to complete this activity. Make sure to do all peer reviews and everything. So thank you for watching the video.